Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.StampinUp.net and welcome to my craft room. I can't believe it's almost the end of September. This month has flown by. Um, this is my host code for uh, the rest of this week. Thank you so much for ordering from me, all of my customers. I appreciate it. You really help support my business. And um, until the end of the week, uh, or the end of September, um, my gift will be a the gold holly leaves if you place a $50 order. Uh, so I'll send you those. All right. Um, oh, the other thing is uh, until the uh, end of the week, I still have my wonderful card class. I've been showing this this week. Um, I love this. This is with the cottage wreath dies and the craft note cards and envelopes. You actually get to make 20 cards. There's 10 um, different designs. I have to get these like all grouped together. It's amazing. There's 10 different designs here. Each and every card, you're going to love each and every one of them. Inside and out is completed for you guys. And the video PDF uh, is just also, it's you can just register for it it's fifteen dollars and it is four hours long i craft every single card with you guys on here and make every single wreath stamp everything it's like you're in the room with me i had so much fun doing this class but when you're done you're going to have a box full of 10 and then 10 um separate ones over here this is so stinking cute we put the box together it is so adorable. Look at that. It is just full of this entire um, class. So the class is just $40. You get, um, let's see, 12 sheets of 6x12 Cottage Wreath DSP. And, um, yeah, you can just register below before I have to turn it off and, and order everything, okay? So that I think it, I think it ends on the 29th. So that's really important if you want to get on, get in on that class. Okay, so yesterday's video, I made a beautiful card. Well, look at that brushed metallic. Isn't that gorgeous? What a nice Christmas card, okay? Today, I want to focus on fall because it's sunshiny out, but it is a definite fall day here in Upper East Tennessee. It's amazing. Um, the crisp, that blue sky, that color is just wow. Uh, so... And I have not really played with as much as I wanted to. I did a class with this set, but afterwards, then I kind of like forgot about it. But this is the wheat dies, um, the wheat set, gathered wheat bundle, it's called right here. And we're going to focus on this right here. And uh, my heart is filled with gratitude. Uh, is that what I'm putting in there? Yes. Uh huh. And then our little thinking of you out there. But we're just going to make a bouquet of beautiful um, fall foliage there. Now, I had made this card design just a few videos ago, but I loved it so much. I just love the way that it is such a shadow box. I had to do it again for this. There was no other design when I was um, coming up with this part of it. There was no other way that I wanted to do this other than in this shadow box. So, um, if you missed that other video, it's with the Apple Blossoms. So this is a lot of fun, and um, let's see, what else? Here are the dies. I wanted to show you these. This is the big wheat right here, that big stack of wheat right there. It has a lot of little um, embellishments, and then that one that we're going to use today. I've already got those colored and cut out because I wanted to concentrate today on making this base, okay? Let me put this away. And then the inside of this I cut out with the deckled rectangles. I absolutely love these deckled rectangles. I want to show this to you. They are just kind of crinkly around the edges. I don't know what to call them. But I used the third one from the outside to make my window here. So we'll be using that in just a moment. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and stamp our uh, outside of the envelope. I actually forgot to get a stamp out. Um, Hit that little one. Okay, here we go. So um, let's go ahead. Now, because these are all on red rubber, I don't need the little foam on the back, but I'm going to stamp off a little bit. So I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper here. Let me use some um, early espresso. And I want to go ahead and stamp off 
okay? I don't want it to uh, dark. And then stamp onto the envelope, okay? Just a little bit of a subtle background. Stamp off, and then I'm going to do my flap. And it doesn't really matter it, in what position that's in. I'm going to take the little list, this little sprig here of wheat. It's so, I think it's so pretty. Um, and I'm going to use, let's see, let's use some Daffodil Delight, some So Saffron, which these two are so close in color, and Old Olive. I think maybe instead of the So Saffron, well, I used So Saffron on the inside. Sometimes I thought, I, I was thinking um, I should have used some Cajun Craze, but I just wanted that as my... Um, frame so that's how that worked out so um right there with some old olive and since i'm going to be stamping it twice i'm just going to put that there i'm going to clean my little stamp i always have my chamois off to the side here's some so saffron let's go that way with that so saffron is so light but it's a very very pretty color and then daffodil delight I think here, I'll bring it over here. We'll go out like that. There we go. And then over here. And just like that, just a little trio of um, wheat, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead with the inside of the card, should we do? Yes, let's do that. Okay, this is cut with the deckled, again, the deckled rectangles. Let me show you these again. And these are, the, not that one, it's this one that I used on the outside, okay, for the inside one, and then the second one in for that outside, okay? So if, I don't know how you want to number them, if you're one, two, three, it would be two and three. Some people go this way from the small, some people go, for, you know, from the inside, some people go from the outside, doesn't matter. But those are the two that I used there um, for this. For the inside, I just think it's so cool the um, little roughage that it puts around the outside of the edges. And this is very vanilla. There is a supply list below, um, so remember that. Let's see, let's get this right here and let's get some Tuxedo Memento Black Ink because we're going to do just a little coloring with some blends. And I want this to come off of the page, off of the so I, I'm not really worried about inking the entire thing up or if it's all the way. I'm glad I looked at that because uh, I didn't have that inked up. Um, but Or that it's all the way, you know, down here because I'm just going to come right here in this corner and just stamp that and we'll color that momentarily. And at the top, um, my heart is filled with gratitude. We'll go with, um, actually I want some Cajun crepes. Let's get that. It's nice just to be in the craft room. If I forget something, it's right here. It's not but an arm's length away, right? So right here. Nice. Now, you can take Cajun Craze if you wanted to and ink around the edges of this. I'm just going to use it clean like I have the outside of the card. But whatever that you'd like to do is fine. Oh, actually, wait a minute, what are we doing? I need to color, right? Need to color. Let me close this black up because that just gets me nervous, right? I want to use my, um, my blends here. And these are all dark. So I have dark crumb cake right here. And I'm going to just color the... Let me get this out of here. We don't need this. I'm just going to color the stem right here. And I'm using that little bullet point or nib tip very gingerly. And I don't have steady hands, guys. So, there we go. Just like that. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead with some dark old olive. I love blends because I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I just let these markers do the work for me. I'm not even shading any of this. You can use the light old olive or the dark, whichever you'd prefer on your greenery there. 
And now let's go ahead and get um, two Daffodil Delights on our wheat right here. The lower ones I want a little bit darker. So these are easy peasy coloring just with that little nib tip right there. No shading or anything on this. Just like that. And then the center one will use our So Saffron. And this is just lighter, but it is the darker of the So Saffron. You know, they come in two, um, a two-pack with the light and the dark. And like I said, the, there's a supply list underneath the video. Just click it. It'll take you right to my online store. Okay, this right here. Now let's go ahead and attach that on the inside. The main part of this card, you know, and even if you didn't have the decal, then you just wanted to do something, you know, uh, layered it with color on the inside of the card. That's great. We're going to move this aside. And now I'm going to stamp thinking of you. What is going on? My little kitty. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the little things are smart, okay? I'm going to stamp thinking of you right here in um, Cajun Craze. When they want to come in now, I have a, um, a ring at the back door just to watch them for, you know, like the winter for, you know, when they want to come in and um, <laughs> I'm going to cut this out. Well, actually, we're going to splatter this so they know they're hilarious. They know that if they sit in a certain area, we're going to stamp off and then stamp on. And I'm just going to cover this entire thing up. I don't care because we're going to cut out. Now I'm stamping it off and stamping it on just to make sure that it takes the entire C stamp right there. That'll look good, right? That's great. Okay, so the silly kitties um, know that if they sit in a certain spot that, that it rings. And so when the what when Miss Jingles wants to come in, she sits in her spot and she rings the doorbell. And so now they <laughs> They crack me up. I'm ready to come in now. I've been out. Ready to come in. And now, like, that it's cooler, I don't have the back screen door open for them. So she used to like to sit uh, right there at the screen door, like inside the house, but she would be enjoying the outside air at the same time. So they're just very confused that I've shut the door. So I bet yesterday, I bet I opened and shut the door. Oh my gosh, I bet it was at least 50 times until they get it up in their little kitty cat heads. Look how cute that is. And then we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to bend that. Um, that it's not necessary to do that. <laughs> how funny. Okay, now um, their little brains just crack me up. Okay, on this uh, uh, die, it's a little hard to see. Well, right there you can. There's two little marks, okay, two score marks. Fold this one back and this one forward. And it makes the cutest Z-fold banner. The cutest Z-fold Z, Z banner. See, now if you took my class, now you can make this card too, right? Because you should have all of your elements. Okay, now what we need to do now, now that we have that element, we have the inside of the card, I've already cut these out. I've already cut and have dimensionals on the back of these for the inside of the card because what I want to do now is um, go ahead and bring the scoreboard in and we have our main piece here. This is our base. I'm going to close up every bit of this ink. I think I'm done. I'll just leave it right over here just in case I need a color. But this piece is six and a quarter, five and a half by six and a quarter, okay? And you have to have the six and a quarter at the top. Okay, that's what we're gonna do next. So five and a half by six and a quarter, this is Cajun Crazed. We're gonna put, this is six and a quarter right here. Let me fold my arm out. 
Okay, so this is a little difficult to read in here because it's on that brown, but I always go to the half and then I come in two lines and there's your quarter, okay? So it's six and a quarter by five and a half. With the six and a quarter at the top, we're going to score at either end at one and then at a half and one. I love to use this side of the scoring tool when I do this, okay? So a half we're going to score and then one and we're going to score and I'm going to turn it so that again the six and a quarter is at the top but I just have to do the other side right so that's a half and one just like that okay now we're gonna um I might have to come back and redefine these lines I'm not sure we'll see I'll just kind of leave that door open, right? But we're going to emboss now. But we're going to cut and emboss. So let's bring our stamp cut and emboss machine in right here. Okay. And now um, we're going to go ahead and take our piece that we just scored. The reason why I wanted to score it first is because um, I wanted to make sure that I got my deckled rectangle in there at the proper... Uh, like that it has the proper dimension around it, you know, the border. So I want to look at that. See, so I didn't want to kind of eyeball it all the way here and all the way there. So that looks pretty good right there. Gives us a nice about, uh, what, quarter inch, half inch, something like that. That looks nice. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay. I always tell everybody all the time, if you're going to buy a machine, buy the big one first. Always buy the big one because you can emboss. Your paper could be bigger. You can put it through. You know, I know the little one looks so, it, and it is. It's a lot of fun. But um, always, always get the big machine first. Then you could go get the toy, right? Okay, so there we have that. Now, um, now what I want to do is some 3D embossing. Okay, I want to take all of those plates out. And I want to take this embossing folder in this beautiful with the wood grain. Um, and it's a 3D embossing folder. And you always want to feed this through with the spine up at the top. Okay? Always want to feed it through like that. Now, this, we're going to position this in here this way. Okay? Let's see. Is it that way? then it would be up and down. Okay, it's a little bit backwards when you think about this because see, um, I know that this is on here in the width, but the grain now is going to be going up and down. Okay, and that's what I want. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put it right in there. And it really doesn't matter if it doesn't get the edges all that much because they're gonna tuck in. And sometimes we have to chop those off a little bit just to make it right. You know, sometimes it has, we have to trim. So now I'm going to use the gray plate, plate four, okay, and we're going to emboss this. So remember, okay, we scored it so that we found the middle of the piece of base a little bit easier, okay, and then we cut with the deckled rectangle, and now we've got this embossed, and it looks great. That looks fantastic. It's like a little woodland scene that we're making. Wouldn't that be cute with those woodland friends? Isn't that adorable? Okay, now we're going to, um, that's an adorable set. We're going to go ahead and take the base is the very vanilla, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, okay? So it's the um, portrait style. And I'm going to go ahead, and with this, the, um, the grain will run the other way. Now, there's a little like part down here where you see the grain and then you don't, okay? So I want to get my score line right up to where you don't see. You're, I'm right up on that. See, because you you're not going to be able to bend this over, okay? Um, yeah, so that I'm just right up on that score line with the embossing folder with the, um, the wood grain, okay? So we're just going to put this in like this. And again, we're going to emboss this this way now. All right. Just 
just a little embossing, which is always fun on a card, right? Don't be afraid of it. Some people say that they're, I'm afraid to emboss it. No, go ahead. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Let's look at this. This looks great. Oh my goodness. See how we put it in there and, um, you know, I fed it through. It's, I'm right there on that score line and that is absolutely perfect. Absolutely. I'm going to take my bone folder and just redefine that. Okay. All right. So that is absolutely wonderful. Let's move that aside. Now, let's work with this. We want to, I can still see my score lines. Okay. And they are still somewhat bendable, meh, you know. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring my trimmer back in. Okay, they are somewhat visible. I'm going to score again at a half and then one. Okay, remember the first time we scored was to get so that we could really position this in here so that we could see, okay. But running it through the, uh, you know, the stamp cut and emboss machine, um, whoop, will flatten it out a little bit, right? So we just put them back in. No big deal. There, a half and one on either edge. And now we have them quite well defined. So that's perfect. All right, now we're going to Z-fold. We're going to go in and out, okay? Both sides. I'm working on the back side toward the inside, out toward the outside of the card. Now, Here's what I said about you might want to trim. Okay, if there's anything hanging out, now is the time to adjust or trim. See, I have a little bit hanging out right there. I'm going to attempt to push my paper back, which that's going to work just fine. And I'm just going to follow that down through there. Good. And I'm going to take my bone folder and give it a nice crease there. And I'm going to take this side and crease there. Now sometimes I've had like literally seriously I've had like the whole like a little strip here. Honest guys I've just taken a scissor and cut it off it's no big deal. Easy peasy. Let's put this on the inside of the card. Now let's go ahead and put our inside. See we already have this done and our envelope is completed. Let's go ahead and put this here. So we did a Christmas card and a fall card for this week. Now I'm going to place this on here first. I want to work through my window. Isn't that pretty? So much fun, huh? Now you can use tear and tape if you want to, or you could use uh, Seal Plus if you want to. I have to use the liquid glue, guys. I need wiggle room on this badly. I am just a wiggle room kind of gal. All right, now I'm going to take this on one side and I'm going to just kind of place it easily on top of the card and I'm going to look for it to line up nicely with my edge. Okay, I'm going to take this one and place it right here and let that also line up with that edge. Look at this. Okay, tap tap on the bottom so we're good. Okay, look here now. If you, this is why I need that wiggle room, you know, here we go. Scooch that up just a little bit. We're good. Now, because we, we, you know, it's got this and then, uh, you know, you have your mechanism in here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when you put it in the envelope, it folds flat, but when you take it out, it has this absolutely wonderful 3D effect. Is that not cool or what? That is awesome. I had to make it again. I was not done with this layout. I really, um, I got this from Jennifer McGuire and I really appreciate that. So uh, her sharing that on um, uh, videos, you know, uh, on YouTube. Okay, so now I've got this little guy. I've colored it just like I did the inside one, except I, of course I've extended it and cut it out with the um, dies that were provided in the bundle. I'm putting that on that side and then this one over here, letting them crisscross a little bit. Just like that, okay? Now we have our little um, thinking of you. That's going to come right here. And on these edges, now I'm going to use a mini dimensional. You, of course, can use a piece if you'd like of any, you know, just a piece of a dimensional, but you need, you need it small. 
okay and you don't want to put any dimensional on the inside there okay just on those two parts that we uh, fold that we did that little fold on that where the um, score lines were on there already provided by Stampin' Up! So now this goes right here. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. Absolutely. Now I've got these three little shoots of wheat. This is um, so saffron. And it doesn't matter where you put these. You put them wherever you like. I'm going to put them behind here. Take my tip. I'm going to put them right in here. I'm going to, I did this one in Old Olive. This, these two, you could cut these out, you know, uh, with adhesive sheet. It's just like I say, when I design, I don't use adhesive sheet because I would have adhesive sheet on so much that I didn't use. It'd be crazy. You know, so a lot of times I've got pieces and parts all over the place and then something comes together. Here we go. And I'm just going to like push that over to the side there and feed that right in here okay and it can even sit up on that you know on the little lip there it doesn't matter maybe we should scooch it over there we'll just scooch it behind that looks good just like that isn't that beautiful yeah I took it off of this because see this has to bend out and I didn't want to um, mess up my little shoot there. So I just put it on the very vanilla on the inside. So isn't that adorable? I hope you love this card. I had to do this layout again, guys. I mean, the other one was the apple. You can go back on this YouTube channel and check it out. And then this one right here with the wheat. Ooh, I'm putting butterflies. Hold on. Always, I hope they keep these forever. I hope that they never, ever, ever get rid of the butterflies. Now, I'm going to use these. Oh, I'm out of mediums. Oh, okay. I'm going to use large. Oh, well, these are large. Okay. I'm going to put one here and then one here. They are. I did use the large. I, I'm almost out of the smalls right there. See? So, yeah, this is on my list. I hope they keep them forever. I love them because they're flat and I love them because they're gold. Isn't that awesome? There we go. Another card for this week. All right, everyone. Remember, if you um, order from me by the end of the week, by the end of September, the end of September, please uh, try to remember to use that host code. Thank you so much. Remember, my class will be ending also toward the end of the week. And if you would like that, you can just click the little more. It'll say more. And when you click that uh, word, uh, or there might be three buttons next to it, a box will drop down and there will be a registration form for the class. Thanks again for watching. Always go to your happy space and do some happy crafting.